Good afternoon, KF7IJZ here with another exciting unboxing of a brand new ICOM D-Star radio, the ID5100A. I uh, pre-ordered this from Ham Radio Outlet in Virginia um, back at the end of March. Uh, as soon as they went available for sale at the beginning of April, I had uh, my full payment made and I just received it today. They received them yesterday. Now, a um, couple of things I did also receive the mounting bracket um, so we'll open that real quick this is actually what will attach to the head unit this is not exactly exciting and uh, it's ridiculously priced for what it is but as you can see it's literally just the metal mounting plate because they don't give you one um, otherwise I don't even know it appears okay so we have a couple of magnets um, and then the screws to mount those onto the back of the head of the radio. Um, it's a little ridiculous to me that the radio does not come with that, but again, ICOM, I guess, makes money selling accessories, not radios. All right. Uh, next, we have, of course, the main radio itself. Um, let me see if I can reposition this camera a little better. All right. Um, here we have the main radio. Let's make sure that... So I've kind of got this on its back. Ooh. That's nice and tight. Alright. Opening the box. And the very first thing we have is a little cardboard package. And I am willing to bet just about anything that this is the head unit which it is. Obviously we don't want to we don't want to break it. Wow. Um, that's actually much much larger than I was expecting. I, to, for comparison here's a sealed a 7 amp hour uh, equivalent sealed lead acid battery equivalent. The head unit is actually uh, about as tall, actually a little bit, let's see if you can see, a little bit larger. Um, that's, yeah, that's really surprising uh, how large that is. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. So that was the first carton. I'm gonna set pieces to the side. Next, we have what I'm, okay. Here we have um, full manual, and I think this also has the programming software on it. Here are the actual paper books, the warranty card, so nothing terribly special about all that. Inside the box, we have still, um, let's see if you can see that. This will be the main RF deck, and this will be any accessory cables on the microphone. So we'll take the RF deck out first. I don't like this at all. Uh, I never like opening a radio where the packaging makes it seem like it's been opened before. Given how stiff the uh, tab was on this box, I do not think it's been opened before, but I, I just, I never like this. Why, why is this as messy uh, as it is? I, one thing I will say though, you can see very thick laminated corrugate cardboard, which is uh, a good thing for keeping it safe. The radio body itself. Um, much lighter weight than I expected. Again, this radio does not come with the mounting bracket that one would normally use. Uh, it's quite thin. I don't know. Actually, let me pull the head out. Just a, a little size comparison. I don't know if that's uh, necessarily telling you anything, but. It's uh, interesting nonetheless, and of course, as you see, there's absolutely no way to mount uh, mount the head unit to the, the body of the radio, which is fine. And lastly, in this box is, actually, put the packing materials. I always keep all my boxes, uh, just because in case I do ever decide to sell it, uh, that tends to increase the value. Finally, wow. That's tremendously disappointing. Um, 
We have our microphone, which is very similar to a lot of other uh, D-Star mics. Uh, I guess I should be thankful that they included the button mic rather than make it be an option like they did with the 7100. Let's see. Okay, so we have that. And then in here we have our extra long power cable. Um, I, I mean, this is nothing special. I always replace immediately with power pull dongles. We get a little accessory kit with a fuse and a mic hanger with an adhesive patch, which that's nice. And then finally we have the head unit control cable, which um, this looks like RG11 four conductor cable. No, so it is, I don't know, six, if you can see that, but it is a full six conductor. And this cable is not shielded, um, at least the, well, sorry. The modular plugs are not shielded like the 7100 was, so I'm going to say uh, overall I'm, I'm very excited to get this. I can't wait uh, to start playing with it over the next couple days. Really the only unfortunate thing is that uh, I was expecting to receive the UT133 Bluetooth module uh, with my order and unfortunately uh, it was not included. And that actually was kind of a surprise. I'm going to have to contact Ham Radio Outlet about that tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, this is a fairly short uh, unboxing. So thank you very much for watching. This is KF7IJZ. So uh, a little bit of an addendum. I uh, kind of just got rid of all the packaging and uh, set everything out here on the desk. Again, this is ginormous. It's got a uh, piece of protective plastic. None of the buttons are... Uh, push buttons. Nice, uh, very good feeling rotary encoders. Remember, these are touch buttons. Uh, these knobs feel a little cheapish, a little light, a little fragile, but I mean, probably going to be fine. Uh, this thing is incredibly thin. There is a connector port right there. Here, where the two um, the two magnets will mount uh, from the head unit kit, which is not a problem. Uh, one other thing I, I'll just point out is, again, this is a high-quality cable like they always are, but I, I think, just roughly estimating, and I'm off camera right now, if I had to guess, this is maybe 10 or 12 feet, which, uh, I, you know, depending on what your installation requirements are, may or may not be enough. I'm sure they will sell uh, a mobile mounting kit that will come with a longer one, or maybe just a standalone longer one. But, uh, again... Overall, still very, very happy to be getting this and very much look forward to getting on the air with it. Uh, so thanks for watching. KF7IJZ73.